hey guys uh, welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to show you how to create standard query report in sap there are two steps involved first you have to create the easy ways to create the info set and then you can convert that info set into the sq report so i go to the info set creation tree called sqvi and it's here so you have to give a quick name a quick view for uh, you have to give the name for the quick view so here I'm going to create a sales report so I give you some uh, name so is it as is the underscore sales report or uh, you can give any name you want actually okay and I press create button then you have to give the title for this report uh, give a meaningful title so this will appear in the header area of your report so I give the name sales order report uh, without value and I select the table join here I'm going to uh, combine many tables so and the layout mode okay so now I'm in the layout mode I click this insert table and give the table name I want we back is the sales header data see now the standard header table is appear there then I'm going to join this table with another table we back sales order item detail table now when you combine the when you uh, add the second table the the relationship took automatically but you have to check this carefully sometimes this a uh, automatic because sometimes this automatic uh, relationship can be wrong so check it very, very carefully so my third table is VBKD so to get some uh, reference detail okay and here the automatically is coming actually the second second uh, the relationship is wrong for this VBAP and VBKD table okay later I'm going to remove it so the next table is KNA1 this is to get the customer name in my V back table I have only the customer number so I want to get the customer name okay into this report here the automatical relationship is there but the relationship is wrong actually I want to connect this uh, KNA1 table with the V back the first table okay right uh, I go down now I have the key field customer number so in the VBAC also I find I, I'm going to find find this field KUNNR is the customer number okay so here I found it so then how you can join is I drag like this and I uh, release it then the join is complete okay then I enter another table uh, this is MAKT to get the material description because in the VBAP table I have only material code okay so this is not uh, limited to the sales data you, you sales tables you can join any number of tables but you have to uh, careful about the relationship and those things okay any number of tables but you have to carefully review the logics okay you can join now I'm going to join this table with the this one MATNR. Okay. Now I have joined one, two, three, four, five tables, uh, SAP standard table into this report. So my join is complete. So I'm going to press back and okay. Now I'm in the field selection view here. So Table-wise, you can select the fields you want, right? So there are. Uh, so the first table is V back, the sales or the header data. So there are some fields, all the fields. If I select in the list view, it will come to the report. If I select the selection view, it means that it is a selection parameter. Before you run the report, it will appear as the selection parameter in your report. So in this way, I am not going to discuss this de very detail. I can select all the fields from this list which I want okay sales organization is a list field and also the selection field 
division distribution channel those things obviously should be the selection field as well right because if I run the sales report I want to search from the sales organization or division okay likewise so in this way so or add all the fields you want to visible in the report when you add the field it will come to the this uh, report right so important thing is here you can in this way you can uh, change the field name which is visible in your report like this okay and here I'm going to add customer name but the customer number but the length is not enough so I increase the length here and I change the uh, field name to customer code or something okay and here you can insert header text and uh, footer those things as well into your report okay there are so many functionalities in this SQ report I'm not going to cover all these uh, functionalities in this video I will upload more videos for the for the different uh, functionalities right now I save my uh, query in the first set so I'm going to execute the report here so while you create the report you can uh, run and see whether the data is coming in a correct manner okay okay so you can execute the report and you can check uh, so, so I'm in the the creation mode selection fields selecting fields to the report okay right so I have select the fields from each and every table so I go back and ask to save the quick view yes okay now I have created my info set next step is to convert that info set into the report okay so here you have to go to the standard areas query areas you have to select the standard area and you have to select the correct user group these user group creations it will be explained in my next video okay then go to query convert quick view so here the quick quick view will automatically appear the latest one if not you have to copy the copy and paste the name okay now that part is done now it's is that report is under in your sq01 okay so here the report is visible right now you can change here as well okay you can change the description uh, the title of the report and uh, okay so the the weaving option output format and you can save and these are the default values and the next thing is here the important thing here you can see the numbers one two three four so these are the field of your selection parameters and this is the order current order it means in the selection window the first one is the sales document and the tenth one is the sales document item so this uh, order is not uh, good right so you can change accordingly okay so you can give the numbers from uh, one two three four you can give uh, it means ascending or descending you can change here i have changed first one is a sales document and the second one is a sales document item likewise i change and here also you can change the name of the fields which is available in the selection parameter set okay so name one is the customer name actually so i change it to customer name okay right now i save the my working so those are the 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 basic functionalities but this is not the end there are so many things like you can add the uh, the local fields it means the calculation fields to the SQ report mm, it means you can write some formulas in my next video I'm going to uh, explain in very detail about this uh, local field. It means the calculation formulas, how you can add likewise here. Okay. Not here. And you have to go to the edit and the local field here. The create, change, and delete.
okay that's it guys please subscribe my youtube channel i will upload more videos uh, very soon thank you very much for watching this video